Hi everyone, my name is Maureen Donnelly and I'm the curriculum manager at Toby Dynavox. And I want to say on behalf of myself and all of my colleagues that we at Toby Dynavox are here for you during this very challenging and unprecedented season where we're managing the coronavirus at home. I'm happy to say that we have lots of programs and supports and practices that we can provide to you that can help you sort of continue to engage your child, your AAC user in learning at home. And one of them is called Core First Learning. Core First Learning is a program that we offer to you free with your Boardmaker Online subscription. But if you don't have a Boardmaker Online subscription, we have some ways to work around and still provide access to this important free program that we think of as providing a bridge for your child between language and literacy. So first and foremost, what is Core First Learning? It's a language and literacy program developed by Toby Dynavox. The purpose of the program is to help students or children who use AAC find, use, and read core words. We provide you with all of the lesson plans and activities that provide the kind of repetition with variety that makes learning stick, but it also makes it um, meaningful and authentic and fun to engage in literacy and language development at home. The benefits of this program are that, are that it really provides this key focus on core vocabulary. And core vocabulary is a powerful and easy place to help our beginning communicators start to become more competent and communicative using this small bank of frequently used and powerful words. They're also within the context of the instructional approach to core first learning is a focus on reading, right? And when we support children in understanding that the words we use in our communicating also happen to be the words that we read in print, we're making this very explicit bridge between language and literacy. And so that's really the power and the spirit of the program that we call core first learning. So in case you aren't familiar, Core vocabulary is a bank of 36 words that we use every day in our reading and our writing and our communicating. We use them across contexts and partners. And the cool thing is that while they might seem like plain little words, like not, more, go, want, they actually have tremendous potential, not only for communicating my wants and needs, but also my thoughts, my feelings, and my ideas. And then beyond their power within the context of communication, there's an added bonus to teaching our kids to use and read these core words is that they also happen to be over, there's happened to be a great degree of overlap between the words we identify as core and the words that we want our kids to know, um, which we call sight words. And sight words are those words that we sort of see in the context of connected text in all of our reading. And, and these are the words that we don't necessarily sound out or have to figure out, we just know them, right? And so there's power both from a language and a literacy potential. And today we know that language and literacy develop concurrently and they are mutually reinforcing. So any support and instruction we provide in language also serves to benefit our kids in, in literacy. Here's an example. The word more, right, is powerful when I use it at on the playground. I want more pushing on the swings. Keep more, push me more, right? I can use it in math class because six is more than three. I can use it at lunchtime. I want more spaghetti, or I do not want more spaghetti. And then I can use it at bedtime. More hugs, more stories, more light. I'm scared of the dark. And so there's so many ways that we can use this word on its own and in combination to mean lots of different um, wants and needs and thoughts and feelings and ideas across the day. So now that we know that Core vocabulary is a great place to get started with our beginning communicators, and we provide that key support within our, our, our flagship program, SnapCore First. Let's get started. So if you're going to access this program, you are going to go to your Boardmaker Online account and hit the Curriculum tab. Now, if you don't have a Boardmaker Online account, you can sign up for a 30-day free trial and still have access to the entire program for free. And short of that, you can also get access to all of the books and the lesson plans on my Toby Dynavox, but I'll show you that at the end. The first thing you're going to do is print your quick lesson guide. The quick lesson guide serves as a roadmap, and, and, and it also shows you that we provided predictable instruction for two really good reasons. Number one, when we provide you with this sort of week to week to week approach that's the same, 
it allows our students to focus on what it is we're trying to teach them, right? Not on sort of managing the operational demands of every day or every week. Likewise, when we do the same thing every week, it allows you as a parent or a teacher to quickly sort of internalize and own these evidence-based instructional routines. And so you develop com confidence and competence and mastery of this overall approach. So your quick lesson guide is there for you. Um, it's a roadmap. It's enough to get you started, but if you need more support, we actually have step-by-step, word-by-word lesson plans for all 36 words of the core. So, so, so after you've printed your quick lesson guide, you can just sort of post that in, on, on your fridge or whatever. You might also want to print out a lesson plan for one, maybe the first or second or third word that you teach, and then I think you're really going to have the hang of this. But these, these detailed step-by-step, word-by-word lesson plans are really going to walk you through this approach, and they leave you with very um, few to no questions about how to teach CORE in the context of language and literacy. And so that's your third step. Your third step is you're going to choose that word, print that lesson plan, and start reading. One of the things I want to mention is that in addition to providing predictable instruction, we also are very careful to provide lots of repetition with variety because we know that one of the things our kids struggle the most with, with is generalizing what they learn across contexts, right? And so we give this child multiple and varied ways to engage with this word as, a, as in communication, to find and use this word during reading, to play games with the word, to take a poll, to do a sorting activity, to do a matching activity. We're giving that kind of repetition with variety that makes learning stick. I mentioned that you know reading is a big piece of the instructional routine. Each of the core vocabulary words that we're teaching comes with three books that target that word at least seven times in the context of a meaningful story, right? And so you have tons and tons of reading opportunities where you're going to get a varied way to interact with this word. And so while you're engaging in reading, we call this shared reading when we have an interactive and meaningful conversation on every page of the book. I'm going to give you some do's and don'ts do find and select core words as you read and say them, right? And so on the previous screen, you saw um, you saw the book, He is Ready. And so if I was reading that title, He is Ready, while I say the words he and is, those are core words. I'm going to go find and say them and, and show my child that the words I'm reading, he has access to on his AAC solution. I, I am going to make open-ended comments on each page, right? I'm just going to make connections for the kid. I'm going to externalize how I make connections as I read. But I'm not going to ask students to tell me what they know, right? Because reading isn't a test. It's a pleasure. And, and, and we, we build the most comprehension when we connect what we're reading about to what we already know, not when we're constantly being evaluated. So we're going to ask ch children to make open-ended we're going to make open-ended comments for them and we're going to ask we're going to encourage and ask for those connections but we don't ask for knowledge right because it's not a test we ask for participation not knowledge but we don't require it we assign meaning to anything we get right so if i'm reading a book about dogs my open-ended comment might be i like dogs and i'm going to select the word like my ask for participation might be um what kind of pet do you want to get? Right, so I'm making a connection. We're reading about dogs. What kind of pet would you want? And I might get no response. And in that case, say, yeah, I think you're thinking. Hmm, let's think about it together for a second, right? I'm just going to sort of build on whatever I get. Even if I get nothing, I'm going to find a way to build on that too. I do encourage you to understand that reading and core vocabulary learning is a process and that Rome wasn't built in a day, right? We're not going to get results tomorrow, but if we stick to it, we're going to start to engage our kids in the reasons why we read in the first place, which is that we learn new things, we connect to others, we build our world knowledge, right? And so, and so we understand that it's a process, we don't expect immediate results, but we are trying to sort of engage our kids more and more deeply as partners. And I do encourage you to make reading fun, right? Not stressful or demanding, because we are just going to turn our kids off, right? If I got tested every time I read, I'd stop reading. So we want to just have those meaningful, interactive conversations that are open-ended and friendly, and that's how we're going to build that comprehension, and that's how we're going to show them that connection between the words they see on the page or the words I have in my system. So if you don't have BoardMaker online, you can sign up for a 30-day trial. 
If you don't want to do that, you can sign up for a free My Toby Dynavox account. And now I'm going to jump out of my um, PowerPoint and show you how to do that on the web. So here's My Toby Dynavox. I have an account. I'm going to go to support. I'm going to go to resources. And there's my core first learning. Here, I find all of my books and lesson plans. If I have a Boardmaker Online account or I sign up for a free trial, I'm going to hit my curriculum tab. I'm going to select use it. I'm going to select the country where I'm learning. I'm going to select resources to find my quick lesson guide for parents. And I'm going to print that. And then I'm going to start teaching. Here's my first word. So thank you very much, everyone. I know these are challenging days, but I think core first learning can not only be fun, but a meaningful way for you to spend time helping your student continue to build and grow in language and literacy. So thanks so much for joining me and um, I hope you have a lovely, lovely day.